What's up, Waluigi? Trent from Trentendo here. There have been a lot of leaks recently about the next Pokemon game, and no, I'm not talking about Scarlet and Violet's DLC, which is slated to come out in just a couple weeks. I'm talking about Pokemon in 2024. Chinese Riddler, Riddler Coup, whatever you want to call him, he has been added again, and we have some exciting stuff we got to go over today. So before we hop into what he's been saying, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video so you guys are kept up to date with everything going on here at Trentendo. Let's see if we can hit 20 likes on this video. It really does help. I appreciate it. And without further ado, let's hop right into what the Chinese Riddler is saying, aka Riddler Koo. So over on Twitter, he's been up to himself. Now, if you don't know who Riddler Koo is or Chinese Riddler, what, there's a lot of names floating around there. I, I, I know him personally as Riddler Koo the most. He's a very, very reliable Pokemon leaker. He leaked so much stuff recently and in the last like year, year and a half, you know, up to Scarlet and Violet with the DLCs and all that stuff. He has been on top of it all. So he definitely has an inside source. We don't know who he is and he likes to kind of give us leaks through the form of a riddle. He doesn't just flat out tell us. He makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit more guesswork. And he's got some new info out here today. Uh, he said, so here in this tweet right here, it says 2024 predictions. And up here, we've got a map. Uh, this is the Kanto region. So we can, we'll click on these right here. So this is Kanto. You got Cycling Road. There's Pallet Town. Uh, you got Cinnabar Island. You got the Indigo League up there. Then he also posted, this is the Johto region. You know, we got the same Indigo League over there. Uh, very, very close proximities to Kanto. And then we also have got the Unova region over here, you know, based on the greater New York area, if I'm remembering it correctly. And then we've also got another picture of Paldea. Uh, this is the Uva Academy right at the beginning of the game. So Riddleku is saying, okay, his 2024 predictions have something to do with, with either one of these or maybe all of them. That's a that's a good question. So if we dive though into what he's responding to into people's comments, it gives us a better idea of what he may actually be talking about. Um, so first off, this person right here has tweeted Jodo, let's go, and Riddler Koo responds with like the heart, uh, smiley face. Um, another person, I only want this one, please. Or I only want this, please, which is Jodo. He says good taste. So. I mean, I think there's either, there might even be another couple down here that he responds to. Um, let's see if I can find it. There's a Unova one he didn't say anything about. Maybe he just, it might just be those ones. Um, but the, the point of the matter is that he has been responding to Johto related tweets. Pokemon Let's Go Johto. So I don't know if this is a fact that this may be hinting at Pokemon Let's Go Johto. Uh, we heard similar about that, you know, it probably wouldn't be called Let's Go Johto, maybe called like, well, I don't know, Let's Go Meryl, Let's Go something, you know, potentially some uh, jo Jotodian, Jotonian Pokemon. Um, but this one is, well, you know, he's, I only want this one, good taste. So the question is, what is this? You know, it, we can kind of assume we're probably gonna get something Johto related, in my opinion. The way that he's been responding to these, it, it leans itself to be something Johto. I think a lot of people most likely are leaning towards a let's go as we're seeing right here. That was kind of the big expectation, I think, after we got let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. People thinking, okay, we're gonna get a couple more of these let's go, you know, more kid-friendly style Pokemon games, beginner-friendly style Pokemon games. I uh, kind of leaning into that Pokemon Go hype. There was, I mean, Pokemon Go was huge at the time. Uh, I still think it's, it is still big. I don't think it's quite as big as it was. Um, but I think that this could potentially be showing that we're going to get a Let's Go Johto game. Personally, in my opinion, if we do get Let's Go, Go Johto, it's fine. You know, it's not the game that I particularly would want to see for a Johto remake. I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver, uh, even the original. I I remember playing the original games when they came out, so that kind of just dates myself a little bit. Um, with Gold and Silver and Crystal, I think those are some of the best Pokemon games. And then the Gold, Heart Gold and Soul Silver just kind of upped the ante a little bit. So if we get something like that, um, you know, a more remake true to what we got, maybe something with BDSP, um, but not BDSP at the same time. Uh, oh, or maybe even we, hopefully, I would love to see like a a Legends, a Legends Ho-Oh, a Legends Lugia, something like that. Um, one other thing though, we do have to take note. Uh, so as, as exciting as this is, and potentially looking at a Johto prediction, uh, he also is tweeting uh, this, this meme right here. 
Uh, so it's a picture of Sprigatito and Fue or and um, Quaxley. It says the cat ILCA is working on a new game. The duck dot 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 dot. The croc out of the picture. You've got to we've got to be joking. So if you don't know ILCA or Ilka, they are the ones who developed BDSP. So as I as I was mentioning, you know, if we get something more similar to Jodo for BDSP, hopefully uh, Ilka, if they are the ones developing this that they've, you know, they've learned from their mistakes, I guess, of BDSP. And as fun as those games were, I did enjoy BDSP. Um, I I think that they were uh, a little shortcoming, though. They had some, they had their shortcomings, to say the least. You know, they didn't add in a lot of the uh, updates that we got in Platinum. They didn't have a lot of new content. They, we did have, like, the Underground a little bit and some stuff like that. But there was a lot more that they could have done with BDSP, I feel like. So if they are going to give us some sort of Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or whatever the case may be, remake, uh, I want I want it to be good. And so the other question is though is maybe if if this is not even talking about Jodo, maybe let's assume that for the moment we are getting a Let's Go Jodo, or a Let's Go Meryl, a Let's Go Pichu, whatever it ends up being. Um, if we assume that, that will probably be developed by Game Freak. You know they did a very good job with. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. So I think they could definitely handle that. And if we do get more of a, you know, a let's go style game with the Johto remakes, what could Ilka be working on? And I think a lot of people are assuming this is gonna be Unova. So if we go back again to that same post by Riddler Koo, is this, you know, is this a hint at everything that's coming for 2024? Or is this just meant to be, there's only one thing coming, excuse me. I personally think this could be a, a, a thing of, Lots of things to come, you know, Kanto and Johto, uh, I think those are both tied in very well together. If we get a true reimagining of Soul, of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, we're going to be able to explore both Kanto and Johto. That was one of the only games, that is the only game really, that you can go back and forth between multiple regions and explore all the gems between two regions. Yes, I know we're in Unova uh, for the Indigo Disc DLC, but it's just a small portion. So even though that is, I guess, the sense that we're going to actually go to another region, uh, it's not quite the sense of being able to explore like we have been in uh, Gen 2. So if that's if we take these two as Gen 2, we take this as Unova, as maybe Ilka is making us a, a black and white remake, and then you know maybe we get some sort of other update for Scarlet and Violet. I don't think we're going to get. Um, I don't. I definitely don't think we're getting additional DLC. I think once we get Indigo Disc, that's kind of it for DLC. But maybe there's. I'm sure there's going to be tons of events. They're going to be doing more terror raids. They're going to be doing more Mightiest Mark things. They're going to be doing more Mass Outbreaks. I think there's going to be some stuff for Scarlet and Violet for 2024. I don't think Pokemon's going to just say, okay, we're done. DLC's out. Have fun. I think there's definitely going to be some. So I think if we look at what Riddler's Coup is saying, I'm thinking we're going to get Kanto and Johto in the form of a Let's Go, uh, maybe a Legends Johto, some sort of thing remake for the Johto region. And at this point, it is definitely past due. It's the longest game we have got we have that we don't have a remake of some sort. Or you know, even though I know a lot of people really want Unova, that's been way more recent than Gen 2, and Gen 2 hasn't gotten anything since uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. So hopefully, we get something for that first. In my opinion, and those, some of those are my favorite Pokemon and my favorite games, uh, Gen 1, Gen 2. But then I think we still get for Unova fans out there. Don't worry. It sounds like we're still going to get Unova. So I'm taking this as we're going to get at least two Pokemon games next year with updates to Scarlet and Violet. So I'm thinking something Johto, either Let's Go, either Let's Let's Legends, uh, maybe a more traditional remake, uh, remastering, reimagining, and then potentially something for Black and White or Black and White 2 or somehow. I don't know how you tie that in because they're two different. So you got Black and White, you got Black and White 2, and they're different protagonists. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on with that. So I think, though, we could expect to see something really, really cool for Pokemon next year. And fingers crossed that it's something for Johto. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, though. What do you think Riddler Koo is meaning? What do you think he's going over with these? Do you think we can see something Johto? Do you think we see something Unova? Do you see something totally different? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this update again. Looking forward to getting those comments with you down below. And until next time, catch you later.